Here, here, this is Lord Potato, and this is what if all, I guess, two of us were in, uh, in Bleach. So basically me and, uh, the guy that doesn't upload that much singularity. What you mean, bro? I literally got my stuff deleted. It's not my fault. Bro, why the hell do you have it saved on your Discord, though? Well, I mean, I didn't expect this to happen. My bad. So, you don't expect a guy who's unstable half the time to, uh... I didn't expect it, bro, okay? It caught me by surprise. You, you know that one saying where it says, you shoot yourself in the foot? Yeah, that's pretty much literally what happened to Dante. Other than that, let's just begin. Just what if? Yeah. We begin let's it. Just go with that. Anyway. So, where we begin is the last part where Ichigo and Ganjo and Cross actually appeared. Also, if you don't know who Cross is, I will show you a picture. This is how Cross, or mostly his like kid version, is going to look like. I mean, there's two different pictures, but mostly. That's how Kid uh, Cross looks like, but yeah. But of course, we're, well, mostly uh, both, well, all three of them kind of are getting lost as well. Well, I'm I'm gonna do Ichigo and uh, it was a uh, Cross's voice because we don't have actually Cross here. Um, but of course, mostly, uh, I guess you do Ganjo's voice. Ichigo says, where the hell are we going? He looks at mostly Ganju. He's like, don't worry, we're close there. This is where Cross says, uh, why am I being carry? Ichigo says, cuz, you're a little brat that we can't lose other than Raikou would probably kill us. Okay. Hey, look, a baldy. This is where, well, mostly he points forward to right now, just pointing at two people blocking uh, he, the door. Yeah, Ikaku and what else was it? Uh, eyebrow guy. Yeah. I don't remember his name, actually. But this is where, well, mostly Ikaku says, Did, did that brat just call me balls? Um, do the other guy's voice. Oh, who's the other guy? I fucking don't remember. Let me actually pause it. <laughs> well, we're back, and uh, we'll see. Uh, Dante say he's going to speak for uh, Yuichi. No, freak out, I'm not. I'm just going, okay, fine, how about this? I didn't, like, bring a mirror portal and freaking crush his throat. I'm not freaking, I'm not freaking talking. Wow. No, forget that. Wow. <laughs> Oh freaking well! Oh freaking well! Oh freaking well! <laughs> <laughs> wow, motherfucker! So Ikako's over here saying, "You ain't you fucking talk, you bastard." He's like, "Wow, we breaking the fourth wall." It just freaking I, like my mirror hand just pulled, just went out, and we just went towards his neck and just freaking crushed it, bro. Like, yeah, bro, ain't talking. He ain't gonna die, but he ain't gonna be talking. <laughs> Better go to Unahana and get that heal. The freaking me. So we revert time back towards mostly just back to normal of like Ikaku right now talking to Yuichi. Yuichi. I'm not saying it. I'm not speaking for him. Do that. <laughs> Speak, you son of a bitch. It's not that hard. No. Oh my, you don't need to be zesty with it. You just gotta talk like normally. Okay. Don't. <laughs> Bro, it's not that. You just gotta talk like, normal. Bro, I don't wanna listen. I don't wanna hear this. He's so good talking. Okay, he don't sound like he's so good there, but. He's so good goes out to children. 
So these are the soul re these are no no not soul re I mean <laughs> these are the Ryoka that we've been hearing so much about. That's where Kako says, no. yeah. Oh, okay. So uh do they talk a little more or do they start fighting? Like They just straight up probably start scrapping. Well we'll see you you Uichi does talk more to Ganju in what's it called the anime? I mean Ikako also does talk to Ichigo, but yeah. Mm -hmm. But mostly we go yeah. into both Ichigo and you got uh you well Ganju right now yeah. running separately. Well Ichigo is fighting against mostly Ikaku and Yu Yumichi oh, fuck I keep fucking up his name. Kinda goes after Ganju and Cross. This is where Cross says, Why are we running again? <coughs> Go, uh, Ganju. Um, it was like, uh, okay, um, dang, I think my mom's calling everybody, but I, I'm gonna try to see if it, okay, okay. so, um, <clears throat> he's, uh, pretty, where was he at record again? Pretty much he's um, running away from mostly, uh, you, you, which, you, Michi. Yeah, like, we're getting the freak away now, come on. This is where Cross says, we can always take him. Uh, I can't. It's not that hard taking on a Soul Reaper. Are you kidding me? What? Then freaking, um, <clears throat> uh, then he appears right behind him trying to strike both, uh, Gaku Ganju and freaking Cross. Cross right now blocks it with a sword. He blocks it with his own Zanpakuto. You know Homo Shikai is basically a whip, right? Is it a whip? I thought it was fucking like a five-bladed no, thing. It's, a, it's literally a whip. And I have not seen his. I thought it was just like this, like multiple swords. I mean, some like that, but it's also a whip too. I think he only you Did he use that whip again to mostly... Because I only saw him use the five swords in the beginning. Yeah, but he also has a, that as another function. I mean, only really Ichigo was there and got behind you. But, like, yeah. Okay. Like. <clears throat> so, yeah, homeboy literally gets it, uh, Cross gets his sword whole grasped by the whip. Or the fine thing looking thing. This is where it crosses. Huh? What is this? Okay, um, hey, I'm just gonna go get my, uh, plate real quick. I'll be back. Sure, why not? So, with, what's it called? We'll see, uh, Cross right now getting his weapon taken. He is looking at, mostly we'll uh, Yu, Yu, Yu again? Is that his name? Um, Yo, Yo, yeah, I forgot. Yuichi? Uh, Yuichin? Um, what it is if y'all heard us say earlier, um... Yeah. He's asking, how are you able to contend with the, with the lieutenant, or a seated officer? <laughs> so where, well, right now, Cross says, Shikai release. This is where, well, he right now releases his Shikai release, and it's kind of, his Shikai release is named, uh, wait, let me actually kind of get it on Google Translate, because, uh, don't know what to say right now. Fuck. Um, I forgot how to say his Enji no Yoru. Wait, fuck, why do I have it in Spanish? Enji no Yoru. Enji no Yoro. This is where, well, mostly Cross releases his, well, mostly his, uh, Shikai release called Enji no Yoro. <clears throat> this is where, well, he pretty much just kind of activates it. And this is where, well, he then kind of summons chains from literally the underworld. Well, called another world. Uh, yeah. Summons chains from the another world. To restrain, uh, well, not restrain, to resurrect his, uh, demonic heritage. But yeah, pretty much he binds, well, Yuichi or whatever his goddamn name is. 
Shaka Khan is like, how is this possible? And what the hell is, are you? This is where Cross says, My name is Cross. And I am a half Shinigami. Yeah? Like Ichigo or something? What? No, I'm not. Mm, well, mm, I mean, yeah, I'm half human, half Shinigami, and oh. also half demon. This is where, well, right now, Cross kind of mm. grins with such an evilish, demonic grin. Uh, wait, what? Oh, don't worry about it. It's none of your oh, concern. No, no. Shinigami. I'm just gonna stop asking questions for my own safety. Now, let's see if you can last in the hell for like three days. Wanna stay there for a while? Hey, wait, hold on. Isn't that the same amount of time Jesus was in there? Oh, wait. Never mind. This is where Cross says, correct. Now, bye bye. This is where, well, he uses the, uh, well, mostly chains to grab Yuchi and just, like, launch him from the social society straight to hell. All you see is Yuchi just screaming. Yuchi goes like, what the hell? Ikako says, huh? What the hell did he do? Where's Yuchi anyway? Or Yuchi? And Ichigo got the, um, got the, um, got the sneak on freaking, um, Ikaku and then freaking cut him. Ikaku says, you damn bastard! He pulls out an ointment and starts rubbing himself. Hey, yo. I say ointment. Mm. You know the ointment that he basically used to heal himself? I know, but like, White Man also is another word for queen. <laughs> okay, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> I was about to say, are you trying to imply that this man is Mr. Clean? I said queen means cream. <laughs> oh, I think you said clean. I'm like, oh, you're trying to really apply Ikaku to be Mr. Clean out here. I mean, you look. You look like a skinnier version of me. Shoe. Sure. This well, is Maybe if you got rid of that makeup too, maybe. I mean, yeah. Yeah, other than that. This is where, well. He's he... gonna manage to just take him down anyway. Yeah, and even so taking his him. ointment. He goes like, alright, let's go. But then Ikaku stops him. Ikaku says, you're not going anywhere, you damn bastards. Cross and knocks him out. Yeah, Cross just kind of kicks him in the face. Since Cross is kind of the same height as mostly Yachiru, he basically is quite fast and flexible. He just kicks the shit out of Ikaku. Ikaku could not really dodge fast enough. Ikaku also says, ask What's your names? This is where, well, mostly Ganju says Ganju, Ichigo says Ichigo Kurosaki, and Cross just says, My name is Cross. Hello. And good night. Well, you better watch out for my captain. This is where Cross grins, saying, Well, he better watch out for my brother. He grins with such a demonic kind of grin. You really must be sure about your brother, but <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it to you guys. <clears throat> oh, don't worry about it. Other than that, bye-bye. No. Ikaku then just about uh, freaking gets unconscious as they all just start writing. This is where, well, we go from their POV to now, well... Uh, Uriyu and Orihime's POV with, uh, yeah, currently right now, <clears throat> they just watch 
watch my year he blow up his whole freaking um his um squad his entire freaking squad bro like, what the freak so yeah that kind of happened since we were well Uryu still fights against uh what's it called <clears throat> Mayuri in his kind of like Quinty form that one Quinty where he's about to sacrifice all his Ryaosu to fight against Mayuri yeah plus freaking Mayuri's talking about taking freaking Orihime to experiment on her <laughs> let me let me try to actually try to do the voice of yeah but my you did say that you want me to do that he says oh my you and Rukan are quite interesting don't worry I'll give you a good deal here I don't really care about you Quincy over there I care about the girl now tell me girl I'll give you an offer here that if I will be able to experiment on you for five days I will be I will allow you to be able to um, have sleeping gas. Basically, said he'll give her better. He'll give her living conditions. You know, three meals a day or some some like just for him to experiment on her. Like, what the freak? Yeah. Of course, I'm right behind him saying, "You sick bastard!" This where <clears throat> my Yuri says, "What the?" He then grins, thinking it's another Rukon. <clears throat> of course. I'm using my mirror powers to kill Nemu. I was like, hey, you okay? Nemu kind of nodded, saying, yes. Alright. Don't worry, you'll be healed up right soon. And. <clears throat> it's up to stay, okay? And then make a mirror. And then, like, make it flex, make it into a cloth. And just make. Just put it on her skin and made it seem like a bandage. That should work. Uh, thank you, but why are you helping me? Well, it's because I don't like sick bastards like him. I say, I say, clenching my fist a bit because I remember my pops. Damn. <clears throat> Other than that, yeah, I just stand up, and of course, my earring's actually intrigued by my abilities. That shit, bro. That's where uh, he says, oh my, what are you? Hmm. Me? Are you another just like her? That's where he points at, what's it called, the orange hair girl? Yeah, I'm a full bringer. What's about, what about it? A full bringer, I see. So that's what you guys are called. Can't wait to experiment yeah. on you. so intrigued about experimentation because that's the only way to figure out about the knowledge hidden in this world i see you got quite the guts talking to me like that bro oh, are you going to be able to do something to me well i didn't like make mere constructs and i said i'm gonna teach you some anatomy Hmm, I'd like to see you try. I didn't dash behind him and literally cut him up. Does it right here where he said, Oh, you little. He tries I to use his. I didn't, stab, I didn't stab him in the mouth to shut the freak up. This is where, well, he takes the sword out of his mouth right now, trying to heal his mouth with one of his injections. Why, you little shit? I didn't see him freaking pull this freaking uh, weird whip thing out of his ear and then start to attack me with it, but I just dodged me. I'm like, you're sick, aren't you? You mean experiment on yourself. Well, at least, at least I can never say, like, I can't believe you won't do stuff to, your, uh, to yourself that you would do to other people. But looks like I'm wrong. You're a threat. <clears throat> yeah, you little. And I didn't look at him as like, this your dad? This where, well, you talking to Nemo? 
Nemo says, no, he's my master. But he, you're made with his genetics, so. I am just a mere creation. Tell me, Nemo, what do you want? I say this as I'm freaking trying to fight Mayuri. This is where, well, Nemo says, I, I do not know. Mindless slave. I thought you were gonna say something like, "I wish to serve master," but that's what he wants. What do you want? You know what I'm saying? Cheat kind of nods. Sorry, right, how do I know this guy? I'll help you find your reasoning. Okay. She nods. And then charge at Mariuri and then literally slice his head the freak off of his shoulders. I was like, Alright, Ryu, shoot him now. Uryu's fucking launches the attack, killing or supposedly killing uh, Mariuri. But Mariuri managed to say his last words, and that was Bankai. Before a giant ass up. baby appear. I was like, what's that ugly ass thing? And then make a mirror and then a big giant, the same giant baby freaking uh, counteracts the other. Mayuri managed to attach his head and right now trying to get away. Damn, Rukan! I was like, oh no, you thought you was getting away? That's at least Mayuri literally splat himself everywhere. I was like, what the? He got away, didn't he? This word, Nemu nodded. I didn't hear Nemu saying thank you for not killing him. I was like, shut up. This word, Stella says, wow. Telling someone to shut up. That's messed up, Dante. I said, sh I, that's, no, I said I should have. What? I never said shut up. Stella says, damn. For a second, I heard you. No, you This is where she said, what? Anyway. And say, shut up. I'm not talking. Anyways. <clears throat> and then, like, caress Nemu's face. And I was like, you okay? She nods. <clears throat> now, this may be uh, a bit exaggerated of a photo, but uh, this is what I found. <clears throat> uh, you know, she was looking like this. She nods. And while we're at that, I will help you find your reasoning. She just nods again. <clears throat> you're not gonna, you're not gonna disagree. Oh, I need to go find my master. I, I gotta be loyal to the Soul Society. None of that. She's a kind of a little bit complicated what she actually desires because she was never really told if a question like that so she wants to figure out what she wants and then pick her i didn't like pick her up by her waist so i was like all right let's go and then put her over my shoulders so i was like all right y'all come on as we all just start dipping yeah and then see Uryu's like, bruh, dang, you ain't even got your powers no more, right? And this is where you say, yeah, I don't. Here. And I gave him a mirror, and I was like, don't worry. I have ten mirrors you can, you can use. Literally, you can do almost whatever you want with it. Heck, even travel to my mirror dimension, but once all ten of them breaks, you'll be able to have me more, <clears throat> have more powers. I say as the mirrors literally just start glowing blue to signify they're part of um, Ryu's Ryatsu. Yeah. This is where he's like, thank you? Yeah, all of them just like, you know, go around his wrists or his 
his forearm. Kind of like the Ten Rings from uh, um, Shang Chi. Ching Chong. I mean. <clears throat> I was like, okay, where's Rukia? This okay, where. We, uh, <clears throat> go into someone else's POV. We go back into Mosi, Kazutora, and Shinji, and even what's it called, Chad's POV. Chad says, Do you want to actually speak for Chad or. I mean, what would he. What would he say other than he needs to go help his friends? Uh, yeah, you know, pretty much he just says that he wants to go help his friends. Shinsui would say that, I guess I'll have to fight. This is where Kazutora says, nah, I'm good. I want to keep drinking. This is where, um, well. Chad says, seriously? We got friends. And then, and yet, you don't want to help them? Kazutora says, I was forced to be here by a prick. I am not really wanting to actually help anyone. Well, I guess I gotta do this on my own. Shinsui says, So, Rukan, you're going to be the one fighting me? I guess so. <clears throat> Chad then raise up his, um, what was it? The, um, the right arm of, uh, what was it? I forgot his freaking art way. Oh, right. They did use it. Yeah. Um, Bronzo e Urcha de Giant. Bronzo les Cordel del Diablo. Okay, how do, how do you say it? Oh my fucking god, let me go fucking read it then. So yeah, we're just gonna call it right arm of giant. Fuck it. Look. Yeah, right arm of the, of the giant. What is it, you? <clears throat> Good question, don't know. It like charges up air pressure and then you can just shoot it off. Yeah. So pretty much he just shoots off a giant power... Oh, was it air pressure or was it a Rialto bat alas? A compressed ball of Rialto. Yeah, he has like um oh wait, yeah, um, later on he also gets a um he also gets a shield. But that's like later on. Yeah. So pretty much he shoots the ball of like Rialto straight towards to a Shintui, which Shintui, Shintui just cuts through it. El directo. <clears throat> but uh yeah. Chad's like, oh no. <clears throat> then, you know, Chad just charges up another one and then, uh, yeah, it still didn't work. The story of Kazutara says, just give up already. You can't win against a captain. I have friends to fight for. I can't just give up. Uh, this is where, well, Kazutora just gets annoyed in size and says, whatever. Fine, I guess I'll be fighting along. This is where, well, he summons his grimoire, or mostly it somewhat looks like a grimoire. But this is where, well, he summons out a, well, his Warbringer kind of ability. It looks more like a book kind of grimoire. <sighs> I guess I will help you fight. This is where he opens it and says, uh, what's it called? Thunder, uh, Judgment. This is where, well, a huge bolt of thunder erupts from the sky to try to smash into Shintui. Shintui right now just dodges the attack because it was a very powerful attack. This is where, well, mostly Kazutora says, just to let you know that I am only long range, Chad. And I am not short or close range. So I you're try to keep him, I can probably keep him in one place. Well, just, just to charge up another. Okay. Got it. Chad then charges at Shun Tsui and starts to like, you know, up close fight him, but it, uh it is 
bro, you're cutting out multiple times. What the hell? I am? Yeah. I did not hear half of that part. Okay, um. So, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Alright, so. Well, um, Chad's trying to fight uh, Shinsui up close, but uh, that's not working too well. Hopefully, getting cut the freak up. This is where, well, Cousin Tor says, move, Chad. No, Chad didn't, didn't move out the way. This is where, well, Cousin Tor says, uh, Dragon Wrath of Hatred. This is where, well, a huge bolt of golden wrath lightning actually appears up in the air. Right now being seen by everyone, this, like, huge, like, golden dragon with kind of black lightning on it. This is where, well, he then says... Evil Dragon, uh, Crom Crutch, Lunar Us, uh, what's it called, Wrath. This is where, well, he then launches it down to the ground, straight to Shintui. Shintui widen his eyes. Uh-huh. Uh, and, uh, um, yeah, did Shintui get hit? Yeah, pretty much he did get hit, but he did activate his kind of Bankai, or not his Bankai, but his Shika release. Alright. So he actually appeared behind Mosi was a call. Well, um Kazutora. Chad. And Chad. This were stabbing both of them into like the chest. <laughs> Damn it. Of course Chad tried to hit Chunks even though he was like not moving whatsoever. I mean, his torso isn't really allowing him to move towards Shinsui, but, uh, yeah. Shinsui says, you two were great opponents. Especially you, yellow hair kid. Sorsei, not done yet. Dragon shot. This is where, well, a small bolt of lightning appears in his two fingertips. And this is where he shoots a golden ball straight to Shinsui. This is where, well, it was right now quick enough to actually pierce Shinsui's kind of shoulder. This is where Shinsui says, damn, still not giving up until the very end. This is where Kazutora passes out after a while. Even Chad. Yeah, he passed out? Yeah, he passed out, but he got stabbed in the chest. He's not actually a close range fighter and taking a hit to the chest. He's kind of like a glass cannon and somewhat. So we go into it. Yeah. But wait, hold on. Did they, did the things get out of their chest and like Chad would like, I feel like they would start like bleeding heavily because like their wounds are like open, open. Well, that's why. All right. Next POV. Yeah, next POV. Well, wait, I got to use the bathroom real fast. Zoom it then. So mostly we go into the POV of Baji. Baji is right now walking through like the streets casually. In this clothing, Baji says, I should have definitely went to wear a casual outfit than wear my school uniform. But I'm here, and I'm lost. Great. Don't know where Kazutor is at, don't know where Raikou's at, and don't know where the others are at. I'm fucking lost. Hmm... This is where a bunch of Shinigami says, There's a Rook on there! Get him! This is where Baji says, Are you fucking shitting me? Uh, I could always run, or I can fight. I'm gonna kick the shit out of them. Baji basically just beats the shit out of all of them. This is where, well, I'll see. A dragon appears right next to him. That kind of like, mostly if you see a dragon, like in the picture, yeah, pretty much that small dragon appeared next to Baji. Saying, ooh. Are we going to now slaughter more people? Baji says, mostly kick the shit at them, didn't kill them. Ah, uh, you're no fun, the dragon said. Baji sighs and says, don't care about your fun or whatever bullshit. Let's just keep going. This is where, well, 
The dragon nodded, and of course it worked well, pretty much he just been causing trouble for the Shinigami somewhere else. Should we actually make him fight any of the captains or what? Fight against the captain? Or mostly <laughs> lieutenant. I mean, what, what captain would he even face off against? Or lieutenant, I'm not saying captain, but like a lieutenant or squad. Um... Um, a squad, um, what about, like, not squad five, not squad six, squad seven? What is squad seven or... again? I think I forgot. The fuck? I see in the picture, this, she probably has big breasts, bro. Oh, don't worry, buddy. <laughs> uh, wait, okay. well, I'm going back into a video. This is where, well, we'll see, well... Was it called Baji's causing trouble in some random squad that's actually called Squad 7? This is where, well, we'll see someone actually appear right in front of him. This is where, well, we'll see Baji says, Who are you? Uh, you want to do the voice for her or not? How does she speak? There's no, this is an OC, so. Think of however. She has an eye patch. So she's probably badass. Yeah, pretty much. So she, so she has no personality. Uh, her person. Oh well, shit. Let me actually. I'm a from a resume again. <laughs> All right. Um. So um. Do you like give me a vocal example of what some? <sighs> this is where well, mostly Baji says, "Who the hell are you?" She's like, I can ask the same. Who are you? Well, just someone that kind of got lost and got dragged into this bullshit. Hmm. Mind telling me about it? She just sits down on the on a rock and just pats pats it right next to her. This is where Baji sighs and just sits down. This is where most see <clears throat> Baji just says, "Guy just told by a friend." Let's go save a person. Yeah, because I'm getting dragged along, so you're coming with me. So that's what pretty much my friend just said. Hmm. That doesn't seem fair. Yeah. It's not like you're, it's not like you're entitled to your job as a, entitled to him. I mean, you're, I mean, unlike me, I am a Shinigami, so I am kind of, well, supposed to do what I'm told. But you, it doesn't seem like you have that same responsibility, right? No, not entirely, but I gotta make sure the idiot doesn't kill himself. So that's why I'm entitled to go make sure that he doesn't die. <laughs> well, sounds like your friend is pretty interesting. Well, yeah, pretty interesting being a pain half the time. Well, other than the fact I'm a human, what else do you want to know about me? Huh. What, um, what is your name? Baji. Nice to meet you, Baji. <clears throat> yes. I'm you. I am you. I am you. Yo, Michi. Or, uh, I think they would call her. Let me say that again. Pretty oh. much. Yomichi Okikiba. Yomichi Okikimima. Okukiba. Yeah. Okikiba. Yeah. So just think okay. of like Oki and Kiba together. Okay, Kiba. Ikiba. No. Okay, Ikiba. Yeah, something like that. Don't worry, the name's a tongue twister. Baji nodded. Got it. <clears throat> Alright. Other than that, let's... Do you want some tea? Sure. Yeah, they go inside, but, uh... Another POV now. Back to, uh... 
well, go do Raikou now. This is where, well, I get up for mostly a small little nap in a bed. And this is where, when I get up, I was like, ah, my back. Okay, my whole body's killing me. This is where, well, someone appeared uh, towards, well, mostly into the room. And she was holding like a, like a bottle of tea and also like a, mostly like a, what was it called? A uh, water towel or whatever. The not water towel, mostly a, uh, yeah, rag. She kind of says, well, idiot, if it wasn't for your dumbass to be using that powerful technique of your Bankai, you probably wouldn't be like this. Ow, that hurts. Why you gotta be so rude, Luna? I'm always rude. I'm like, true, true. Hmm. Okay, whatever. This is where, well, it's like, thanks for the tea. This is where, well, she says, yeah, you're welcome. I guess you were the one to actually manage to patch me up for my explosive entrance. So how was all the cat in this press? Well, luckily, since, since you didn't entirely kill people, other than wiping out almost an entire squad of Shinigamis, um, your record in being the most... Well, how should I say the most powerful in this place and the most unstable? Yeah, you're you're basically up there as the top five people who really, really it's a bad idea to just go annoyed in this freaking place. I'm like, thank you. That means a lot to me, Luna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you going to be doing now? Well, I'm going to be fighting the strongest. In the well, the sec, uh, the uh, so, uh, soul society. She then says, "Hmm, the strongest will be Squad Eleven Captain, uh, Zaraki Kampachi. Okay, where is he? You're not just gonna." <sighs> um, I beg it differ, but okay. Shut the fuck up. This is where. Well, she kind of just says. Everybody knows it's Yamamoto, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, she says she knows that the strongest would be Yamamoto, but she's just going to just throw me upon somewhere else so I don't act accidentally kill myself. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You're going to kill yourself. Okay. Fuck you, man. You too. You would die the same. Fuck you. I mean, yeah, but I would be stupid enough to actually go to Yamamoto. Man, fuck off. Pretty much, she just says, so yeah, that guy will be strong enough. Thinking that mostly, I'm not going to go over there and actually fight him. I'm like, thank you for that news. This where, well, pretty much, I just, mostly, pretty much, also, I should mention how, uh, well, mostly, I am dressed upon, or just looking like, right now. Pretty much, uh, this is how I'm dressed upon. Yeah, uh, wait, low, low. That's why I grin, saying, well, thank you for telling me. Other than that, I'm going to go fight him. What happened to your hair? Anyways, never mind. Man, change a bit, okay? All right. This is where, well, I kind of just run off, and this is where she said, wait, no, you, it, why do I even try? Why, why do I even try? <sighs> Idiot. She kind of runs off to go try to stop me from doing something stupid. This is where, well, like, where, where is that strong, powerful fighter for me to fight? Hee 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 hee. This is where, well, I managed to sense something interesting. Of course, an explosion of, like, mostly power somewhat. And that was between mostly a somewhat battle in, uh, what's it called? Like Ichigo and even was it calm. Mostly Ganju and uh, Cross's kind of like view of power or mostly their fight. And that is because mostly Ichigo is right now in the middle of a fight with Kampachi somewhat. Wait, well, not Kampachi. Mostly fighting against. Uh, was it. Who was it first? Was it. Uh, Renji or was it called Kampachi that he was fighting? Was fighting Kimpachi? I thought it was Renji first. Yeah, it was uh, Renji. Alright, wait, no, no. Yeah, Ichigo was fighting Renji. 
so pretty much I just went to go check it out just because I was looking for a guy with spiky hair and had bells on his head. This is where, well, I appear at the place right now on top of a tower just like looking down saying, well, there goes orangey spiky hair kid actually fighting against red hair guy. Wasn't that the same guy that I kicked the shit of? Yeah, whatever. This is where I'm looking all around until I notice mostly bells or hear the noise of bells. And this is where I look down. Just to see mostly Zaraki Kampachi appear right in front of mostly Ichigo, Ganju, and even what's called a cross. This is where cross say, <laughs> that guy is really big. This is where, well, uh, Gaju. Yeah, this is way out of my field. Uh, uh, and passes out. Cross says, What a freaking, uh, well, he then looks at Bossy Gaja and says, Man, you suck. Yeah, but then at that point, Homeboy feels like he got stabbed through the chest. Uh, what's his name? Cross feels like he got stabbed through the chest, but nothing happened. This is where he, he kind of like shakes. Well, mostly he just a little bit trembles and says, God. Interesting power. Well, it's my freaking Kimpachi Himzara. Okay, it's Himpachi, okay? He's like, he's shiny, nigga. This is where, well, we'll see. Well, someone on top of uh, Zaraki kind of says, Hey, look, Zaraki. Oh, uh, not Zaraki. Hey, look, Kenny. It's another kid, like me. Uh, you're going to do the voice of Zaraki, right? So, this work well. Hey, kid, what's your name? Huh? Is there Zarak? Oh, not Zarak. You must see. Uh, there's a car cross right now. Looks at him with a small grin. Uh, of course, demonic a little bit. And this where well, cross says the name's Cross. Mm. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, you want to fight or something? Fight, uh, I'd rather wait for my brother to fight you. I know he's around here. He's quite strong. Uh, hmm. Is he stronger than you? Uh, yeah. This is where, well, mostly Cross doesn't know if it's even his Bankai will be able to stop mostly was a car, Kampachi. He still is a child, so of course he just doesn't know if that will work. This is where, well, mostly someone landed right in front of him. And this is where, well, when the person landed right in front of him, pretty much a person now kind of looks like this. Uh, wait, let me get an image. Flip, 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 flip. Well, closer image or just, yeah, fuck off. Pretty much, yeah, I just land on the ground just looking like this. And no, before Don to say, did I change image again? Yes. I'm not even gonna question it. Plus, is that even? Are you even able to fight in that? Yeah, whatever. Actually, no. You want? No, nah, I'm going with the. Okay, I'm quite indecisive. Okay, so yeah, pretty much I'm in the first one. So yeah, I'm pretty much just saying, yo. I just kind of give a small grin. So. Like, Kibachi senses his power. He's like, oh, so you must be his brother, right? <laughs> of course. The name's Raikyu. So you must be Zaraki Kampachi. Yeah, that's me. So, can you fight? Definitely. Hmm. All right then. All right, Yachir, you can get up my shoulder now if you want. 
Gotcha, says, understood. Yeah, and then, like, you know, um, my freaking, um, what's his name, Cross just, like, jumps all the way up um, above these two, basically, to get out of the way of the fight. Yeah. Cross says, yeah, good luck, big that. brother. Yeah, and, um, well, Yachu then follows suit. Yachu says, yeah, bye, Kenny. Now, Kenpachi's like, all right, so, I'm going to go ahead and let you get a cut off of me, all right? Sure, this is where I summon up my Zanpak toe. That's quite a very generous offer. Hope you don't mind dodging my attacks. I won't be dodging the first hit. Got it. Wait, which one was... He then, he then, like, strikes him, but, uh... Well, I didn't even like do anything... Hand. Bro, what the fuck? This is where, well, I then say Shikai release. Uh, Rai, well, Rain, Yami, Noi, Rash, uh, Ra, Rashi, whatever, fuck. I fucked it up. Pretty much it just, yeah, my Shikai is just like, what's it called, a uh, storm of shadow and dark, uh, lightning. Don't worry about it. But pretty much this is where, well, I then use the first ability called Shadow Binding. Pretty much the wilder just entangles the uh, person in shadows for a second or not shot what the fuck damn i did not read half of these abilities did i uh wait yeah i can tell <laughs> you shit. really got alexa making you whole moves and everything bro like fuck off man i couldn't think of anything at that time bro potential abilities you can pull off with it but um okay Bro, at the time, you were literally, uh, when we were talking, I was like, I need to think of some abilities, because I kind of didn't think of anything. Yeah, alright. So, uh, yeah, Kenpachi, of course, gets captured, but, um, the thing is, how do I say this? Just like in the anime, Homeboy hits him, but it did not make a scratch. In fact, Homeboy's hand, like, freaking, Homeboy's hand started to bleed. This is where I, I grin and saying, well, that's interesting. Hey, bro, how do you end up bleeding with your own strikes? That's crazy. Shut the fuck up. You probably would have done the exact same thing. Man, I really fucking hate Dante at this point because pretty much he's just over here being fucking sassy half the damn time. I'm just saying, I'm just asking how that happened. Like, bro, that's how you... That's like freaking, how about um, how about that's like freaking Suka saying, oh, I just flushed out of Kashima. That shit was crazy. <laughs> hey, how about we talk about when the fuck you gonna keep uploading? Don't question me. When, when are you gonna bring out that Naruto what if? Hmm? I'm the one running that channel. <laughs> yeah, and you're taking years. Whatever, bro. I'm gonna go get my I'm gonna get my editor to so y'all stay the hell out of my business. Like what's on the couch playing play. <laughs> Anyways, um <clears throat> all right, let's let's go, let's go, let's let's continue. So pretty much I was like, oh, well, I should have known that I probably should have used more reality than that. This to where I kinda jump back. This is where I breathe out, well, breathe and breathe in. I was like, gotta think of something else than just blindly hitting him in the fucking first place. Why the hell did I even rush in first? I'm not an idiot half the damn time. This is where, well, I then kind of think about something else. I was like, wait, why am I actually being afraid of this guy? I'm not afraid of anyone. Screw that. This is where, well, I summon out my draconic wings in this where, well, mostly I just became a dragon at this point. I was like, fuck this shit. 
I'm going to destroy. Are you a hybrid? Well, yeah, I'm motherfucker. I am a hybrid. I know. Like, are you in a hybrid? Yeah, I'm in a hybrid form. Like, I, like I, Kaido. Well, okay, I get it. Yeah, I'm in a hybrid form like this. Well, let me get the picture. God damn it. Where is it? Uh, flip. Where the hell did I put it? Pretty much I'm in this hybrid form. This will work well. Pretty much my arm is kind of scaly and this will work well. My hands has stopped bleeding after a while and this will work well. Lightning's crackling around me. This will work well. I then swing my sword down again. This is where a huge amount of Rial to kind of explode it. Right now slashing straight towards Araki. And actually managed to cut him in the shoulder. Like it bypasses like Rial to. This is where, well, I... Hachi was like, all right, now this is what I'm talking about. As he goes ahead and charges Africa right through again. This is where, well, I jumped out of the way because I'm an idiot to actually take that on. This is where I then stab him right in the neck and then just, like, take my blade out because I know, first of all, if I don't jump out of the way, that guy is going to just try to keep killing me. Because he looks like a juggernaut to me. Uh, he, um, wait, what happened? My fault. Oh my fucking god. I stabbed the motherfucker in the neck. There. Dang! What the heck, yo? Did he not hear the fucking first time? I heard the like. This is why I just wanted to make sure he, he's like, bro, you stabbed the motherfucker in the neck. I didn't expect you. I thought you would, like, I thought you would freaking stab him in the shoulder or something, but okay. No, because I used my wings to level tape myself up in the air and stab him in the fucking neck. But, uh, the thing is with Kenpachi, if you seen how the freak he was acting in that Ichigo fight, <sighs> motherfucker started grinning like a madman. I took my blade out and kind of just keep uh, keeping my distance away from him. He was like, I bet homeboy be talking like, cut me more. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> literally, that was literally the whole fight, bro. Nick and Posse took off his freaking eye patch and, uh, as y'all know, this mother freaking Kimpachi when he takes off his eye patch, you know you're going to hell. Okay, I was playing. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> what I mean by that is, uh, basically you're going to see Kamikaze. You know, <clears throat> basically you're going to be the Kamikaze. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, then you're going to be the Alum. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh whoa, my whoa, fucking. Yeah. Let's like just say that you are basically screwed every time he takes off his eye patch. Basically, he started, it starts in like this. You know you gonna die. Homeboy spiritual pressure was reaching out to the freaking air, bro. It was piercing the heavens, bro. Like conquer is hot. This is where, well, I kind of just see this and just kind of grin like a madman. This is where, well, I say, well, if we're going to start up the, well, mostly fight like this, I guess I should start up my own Riyasu. This is where, well, mostly my Riyasu explode like lightning and darkness just going around me. So it kind of looks like Kashimo, but if he had darkness. And Dante, if you're going to say something, fuck you, okay? to say about it what the heck i'm okay with it okay be a rude for anyways so um <clears throat> chat anyways anyways um go ahead. anyways continuing on um Kimpachi, of course sees this and uh these two started to charge at each other for one final slash this is where well pretty much i was grinning like a psychopath while kind of rushing mostly Kampachi. Kampachi, of course, grinning like the mad chat he is. 
freaking doing a war cry and freaking yeah, it just ended up in a huge. Then these two get close to each other and about to slash each other, bro. And this is where, well, I swing my sword down saying, uh, Raikou, well, not Raikou, we'll see, it was called, uh, Dragon, uh, God Storm. This is where, well, a huge lightning dragon appears, kind of looking like this, well, mostly kind of just, uh, just a huge kind of like bluish dragon. It wasn't like the other one that kind of made a huge crater in the Soul Society, but it was just a small version of it. Well, not small version. It was quite big. And this is where well, I was like, let's see who's stronger. This is where both of us clash in the middle with blades. And this is where, well, mostly both of us just an explosion happened. <laughs> kind of wiping out a lot of stuff in the Soul Society. Yeah. That, that was a crazy match for real. Also, Kampachi, if in the aftermath, is kind of looking kind of crisp a bit. Kind of looks like when Candace kind of hit him with lightning. Yeah. Um, Raku was laid out on the ground. Kampachi was still up. It was like, ah, you were a great fight, Ryuka. As he then fell to the ground. This is where I say, you're not too bad yourself. Oh, this is where I pass out. This is where someone actually appears, well, mostly uh, behind me. And it was actually Luna saying, idiot, cat, stop yourself from killing yourself. Ah, moron. But yeah, she managed to just grab me and actually try to take me back. Towards a place so I can heal me. Alright. Uh, then, you know, Yachu just, just looks at um, Cross and just, you know, waves at him like goodbye. You'll see him later. As you know, she was, of course, also saying, like, tell Raikou I said thank you for giving Kenny a good fight. Cross waves and says, Thank your, uh, I guess, father figure for giving my older brother a good fight also. Bye-bye. Yep. This is where Cross just disappears and a demonic kind of like a uh, flash step somewhat. It's, a, it's kind of a demonic version of the flash step, but yeah. Even though it could be just so neat out, but okay. No. Okay, so, uh, yeah, after that, Raikou then wakes up in a room and sees, like, Catform, Yurichi, and, uh, Luna. Uh, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? I must, I must be so high that I see a black cat right in front of me. Damn. Did I awaken already? Huh? What? Speak, you want to speak for Yurichi? Uh, not really. Because I'm already doing crossing with the car. I mean, I don't even know really what to say for, uh, I don't know really what to say for your Richie in this one. Because I feel like it'd be kind of weird if you just start stripping. What am I supposed to say? I know. What do you want me to say? Okay, no, nah, not stripping. It was like, no, turn into a, uh, yeah. Technically, she is because, like, cats, fur, I mean, fur is already considered clothing. Without it, yeah. I mean, you would just look like a skinless cat or a furless cat. Still be naked. Other than that, <laughs> alright. So, um, you know, uh, Yurichi is like, you're crazy, kid. You know, you were dealing with Zoraki Kampachi, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I did. Um, I knew about it, and I just said, fuck it. I wanted to test out my strength. Whatever. Well, at least I got, I was able to bring you here. 
Actually, where are we anyway? We're in a um, we're in a safe place. That's all. Say. Crofton asked, "Wait, how did you get Big Bro Raikou here if you're just a cat?" <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Then Yorichi says, oh, you think I'm just a cat? All right. Then, uh, let's just say smoke starts to fill the room. And, uh, well, <clears throat> yeah, how do I say this? Um, uh, basically, you just see Yorichi and, um, out of her cap form. Um. <laughs> then, you know, um, basically she's just standing over, just standing, um, uh, in front of Raikou is like, so, she then says, like, this is how I well, got you back here, because I can actually turn, actually have a, I'm actually a woman, as you can see. I look at her and just say, uh, Cross, cover your eyes. Cross says, what do you mean? This is why I just cover his eyes, saying, nah, don't worry. Can you first put on some clothes, lady? He's like, oh, please, you haven't seen a woman before, child? And then she just came in front of him and starts explaining like how he, how she got him over here and whatnot. But uh, oh boy, don't care about that. He just wants to put on some clothes. I was like, first of all, there's a child here that be my little brother, and uh, put on some goddamn clothes. Goddamn, be decent at least. She she starts putting on some clothes and says. Hmm. I just, I really still, I just can't believe you would ask a woman to put on some clothes. But at the same time, I don't really know you that well, so, eh, can't blame you. And are you sure you, you don't want me to, you know, keep him off for a little longer? After all, with the work we're doing here, I don't, you don't know if you could die the next day, so... And you may not see another young lady like me. I'm like, shit. I can always see Luna Luna, if I want to. This is where Luna says perfect. That's where I say. So I'm good. Other than that, it's not be, it won't be the first time I wouldn't be so close to death at that point. But it's not the point. So why did you actually just bring me here? Well, um, why is she bring him? Um, basically, she says like to get you to safety for one. Um, yo, is there any other reason? My bad, I forgot. I mean, the other reason was for normal Ichigo to learn the Bankai, or. Oh yeah. The second thing was that she says, "Well, I also brought you here so so you could learn the Bankai." I was like, already learned it. Uh, really? Yeah. Huh. Not much I can teach you. Uh, but if you haven't seen that giant ass crater that's in the Soul Society, yeah, that was caused from my Bankai. I released a giant stormy dragon that probably would kill multiple captains at once. I see. Well, then, I don't think there's much I can teach you then. Well, other than some keto spells, I probably know. Uh, like, yeah, then again, I should probably learn how to control my Bankai much more in a stable form than the unstable form that I kind of launch it at. So what exact, is there like another way to actually learn the Bankai to be more stable than the unstable version that I use? Um, maybe 
try to control it maybe a bit more? Well, that's the problem. When I or... went to learn my Bankai, I didn't actually have anyone to teach me. Or just learning any reason and how to be able to control it in the first place. I decided to try to control it like lightning being uncontrollable. And I made an unstable Bankai version that basically just takes a lot of my Riyasu and knocks me out for like a couple of hours. Jin says, alright then. Follow me, we're gonna go train. Got it. There, cat lady. What was her name? <clears throat> she then turns around and says, The name is your Ricci. Now, come on. Got it. Come on, Cross. We should probably also learn about your Bankai, because entirely, I'm not trying to teach you an unstable version of mine. Cross nodding just kind of follows. Now we're going to someone else's POV. And that is Second Gojo. That, that's not my name, Peyton. Um, it's not JJK, bro. But it's <laughs> not, okay. Um, so, uh, huh. Huh. Okay. Uh, kick. Um, <clears throat> so currently, right now, uh, I'm currently with Ichigo fighting against Byakuya, but um, well, it was like that thing to like get close to Rukia, but of course I was getting um held back. Of course, I had to protect Stella and the rest of them, and still trying to be MVP. You know, because like Stella was about to get killed by someone else, I had to save her. Or he may, I had to save her. Or you, well. He's doing good, but, like, he's only down to, like, four mirrors now. So, yeah, he has to be, um... And now, of course, I'm busy fighting, trying to... basically help out. So, it's like... <sighs> they say I got a lot on my plate. This is where, well, Ichigo kind of says, damn it. <sighs> I can't get anywhere near close to that guy. I can't say, hey, I'm trying to this. I didn't look like, up a mirror. This is where, well, mostly Ichigo nodded and kind of go through the mirror. Yeah. And appears oh. behind Biyokia and slashing him down in the back. You think anything else will happen? Um, anything else will happen after that slap, flash on the back? Yeah. Because I can't think of anything else, actually. Because after taking out Biakia, what else do you think will happen? Um, Biakia would probably get back up just for plot's sake. Then, like, you know, get saved by your YouTube, but... <sighs> I don't think that, um, that was about, um, wait, what was I going to say now? Okay, so Dante is out of ideas, and I am also out of ideas, so other than that, we're going to end it off because mostly Dante is falling asleep. No, I just ran out of ideas, I was thinking, but I guess we could stop here. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh. Well, without further, yeah, well, further ado, well, good night, potato night, potato say, potato, potato, all of you have a nice potato day, because I gotta yeah. wake up early tomorrow, but yeah, bye. Almost clear.